You know, I uh, find there's not a lot of good things on, say, Sugar Mag, a song that everyone should know how to play. So I'm just going to put some thoughts on it. So this Okay, so that's the intro, so it's, it's the sliding to the A. That's the A. So that's a... A and D, but we're doing other things. You could just add on the... By adding the fuller D. Too big, just the right. So it's a a a a a a a So it starts on the third fret of the fifth string. So three four, and then on the fourth string two four two, and then four two. So it's so it has a nice little feel. That's for the intro. Then you've got this uh, the the sugar magnolia blossoms. It's all G, E to A. So, Dragnon blossoms D. It's all G and E to A. Now it says, Saw my baby. I've always done it as the C sharp 7 here, and then F sharp minor. So, But just today I was really playing it, instead of doing this C sharp minor, I was doing this version of it, which is kind of just the A, but with the, the uh, third string drop to the first fret. So instead of, it's. So this, and then it looked like. That's the F sharp minor. So, to the magnolia, blossom. All G to E to A. Saw my baby. C sharp minor, F sharp minor. So it always has that as a little spacer between every line. And that's got this this really fun part of the uh, she's got everything delightful is this D dot so in the same way as we had this A and then the full D there, we're doing the D and then G there. So got everything delightful. So it's it's she's got everything. A. So that's a D. So if we did it all first specifically, we got everything delightful. She's got everything I need. Wait in the back, not in the bedroom, and me, which is fine. It's it's roughly it, but I really like this because you're doing so much of it. In this case, you're going. And in case people aren't aware of this form, it's. You're barring it, and you've got your uh, ring finger on uh, middle finger on the uh, second string, and your ring finger on the fourth string. So it looks like that. So okay. 
now we get to that little uh, lead thing. Um, there's some nice little bends. You know, something like that, but I just do it as, as a, A, D, A, E, E, A. Something like that. So I'm just going on leveraging of the one, three, yeah, on fingers. I'm not talking about fret now, because it's two, four, two, four, two, four, and then two, five. But I'm talking about fingers. It's one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one, four. So. And then right after that, it ends up. So that what that break looks like, you just got this. That's kind of rough. I'm just, I'm just kind of approximating it there because there are some actual things. That's about it. got the cool break in the middle which is the uh, A G D A A E G D D D A E so it sounds like this so I, I do it as a, as a pattern here because it's obvious that it's a triangle sugar magnolia ringing that blue bell so that's A to G First three times that uh, sugar magnolia, sugar magnolia, ringing that blue bell, caught up in sunlight. Come on out singing, that's the E. A walking in the sunshine, and that hangs on this D. this final part with the uh, sometimes in the cuckoo's crying there's a few ways to play this and I think the way I specifically play it is a little bit wrong but it works well enough for me on the fly so I'm going to show you the way I do it uh, so it's sometimes in the cuckoo's crying and the moon is halfway that's an A sometimes when the night is dying I take me out and So, 
that part it has this bump. Sometimes when the cuckoo's crying and the moon is halfway down. And that's still these pulses. Now we're you know we moved from the A up to the B with just kind of a passing tone along the way. So it's not really like you know. a full walk up like that A, A flat, B. It's more like sometimes when the cuckoo's crying still on A and the moon is halfway down. It's just a little kind of nudge into the B. Sometimes when the night is dying. So that's the E underneath it. Sometimes when the night is dying. I take me out and I wander. So it's kind of interesting because that's I take me out and I wander. That's the that's the A is on wander. Take me out and I wander. So it's E, D, A, B. So it's a square. And then it walks a triangle back B, A, E, B. That's B. F, F, B, B. F sharp, T, E, D. The other fun thing is this. Uh, the final thing. Sunshine day. So it starts, the sunshine starts on the uh, F sharp. So it's. Sunshine daydream. Walking in the tall trees. Going where the wind blows. Now it breaks. Looming like a red rose. So uh, the first three times the sunshine walking and going words all happen on the, the F sharp. So it's like, you know, B, sunshine, daydream, B, F sharp, the tall trees, B, going where the wind blows. Now this time you have the B, F sharp, blooming like a red So anyway, I just want to make sure that that timing is obvious, that sunshine daydream, walking in the tall trees, going where the wind blows, blooming like a red rose. So that, that moving, blooming to the neck, you know, waiting for, for the next uh, chord to play down gives it that interesting uh, Bob Weir thing. So. Uh, that's basically it. Oh, this um, is when you're sliding in, you strike it on the A flat and slide in. So there's a bunch of ways just to go back all the way around to the beginning and you just... So the easiest way is, so you're just going. But there's another way where you're getting some extra little strums. Like, that's just really heavy.
different ways of doing that. Um, anything else uh, about this song? Uh, that's basically it. Hopefully this will help somebody who doesn't already know how to play Sunshine Daydream. Um, Sugar Magnolia.